You're watching North Alabama's news leader. This is News 19 at 4. Garrett, we knew you were always on, on loan to us from God. But we wish you were still here for a little bit longer. You truly showed us all how to be better humans. Family, friends, and community members, all with an outpouring of love and support for fallen Huntsville Police Officer Garrett Crumbie and his loved ones. <laughs> Officer Crumbie's funeral services held today at Mayfair Church of Christ in Huntsville. And that's where we begin News 19 at 4 today. I'm Christine Killemeyer. And I'm Jerry Hayes. Officer Crumbie was killed and another officer, Albert Morin, injured in the line of duty while responding to a shots fired call last week at the governor's house apartments. Right now, our News 19 crews are continuing to bring you coverage of the celebration of life for Officer Garrett Crumbie. His funeral service ended about four hours ago, and then a procession has been working its way from the Jones Valley area of Huntsville to Tuscaloosa for a graveside service. First, though, let's look back on how fellow officers, friends, and family remembered Officer Crumbie with News 19's Emily Mosner. Emily. While the service was full of many somber moments, taking time to honor the fallen officer as a hero. But we also learned more about who Officer Garrett Crumbie was before he earned his police badge. Now, during the service, his sister Courtney spoke about what Officer Crumbie was like growing up. She said the family could tell early on that he had a heart for helping people. She said as a child, he would frequently dress up in a Batman costume and pretend to save them from trouble. Later on, his heart for helping others was utilized when he became a volunteer firefighter the minute he turned 18. He was really excited to be able to start truly helping where he was needed and one day he called our dad from the truck. Uh, my dad could hear the sirens in the background and uh, he said, Dad, guess what I'm doing? And my dad guessed he was on his way to a fire, but he would never do that in the middle of a call. It was on his way back to the station. He just wanted to um, say how excited he was um, to be able to help on his first call. Um, he w continued many years in the fire department before joining Tuscaloosa Police Department, um, and that I believe that laid the foundation for his years on the police force. Officer Crumbie spent seven years with the Tuscaloosa Police Department before joining the Huntsville Police Department in 2020. During the service, we also heard from Huntsville Police Chief Kirk Giles, Deputy Chief Scott Hudson, and Police Sergeant Daquan Heider, who was Officer Crumbie's supervisor. Now, Sergeant Heider gave his speech surrounded by other officers from Officer Crumbie's squad. Now, he got emotional when saying that they would always have his six. In law enforcement, that means having each other's backs. We'll have more on this emotional ceremony coming up for you on News 19 at 5. But for now, live in Huntsville, Emily Mosner, News 19. All right, Emily, thank you. And of course, Officer Crumbie's body transported to Tuscaloosa, where he grew up for burial services there. This is a live look at the scene in the cemetery for that graveside service. His final resting place, Tuscaloosa Memorial Park. The procession into the cemetery just arrived at the gravesite moments ago. Huntsville Police Chief Kirk Giles of course, saying Crumbie's loss has been profound for both the department and the community. And while we are mourning the loss of Huntsville Police Officer Garrett Crumbie, Officer Albert Morin is on the road to recovery, and there are several ways that you can help both of those officers. Two funds have been set up through Redstone Federal Credit Union to support Officer Crumbie's family and Officer Albert Morin. Donations can be made at any Redstone location, and you can do that online. Condolences and Get Well cards can also be sent to Officer Crumbie's family and Officer Morin in care of the Huntsville Police Department. We do have the address for those cards and a link to the support funds on our website, whnt.com.